today we're going to show you something absolutely incredible. We're going to show you a castle. It's a castle, it's not for sale. We've been invited here to show you this magnificent, magnificent palace, cal castle, call it what you will. It's themed like Hogwarts meets goth vampire meets Dracula. I don't know what it is. It's massive. It's insane. We had a little look through it and uh, the owner, Robert, is going to show us around the house and tell us why these creations are in the house you're going to see things you've never seen before this is probably the most unique house in beverly hills potentially california or even the states it's wild let's go take a look see these adam i mean i'm just looking everywhere look at this i want to go walk over there and stand by it i okay. want you to see how big that is i'm guessing it's nine or ten feet tall how do i look that is amazing I'm sure you saw one of these in Vegas when we went and walk around the I wanted Caesar's to buy Palace. one. Another one over There's there. two of them. Absolutely insane. This is just amazing. Incredible property. Look I at do, this. I do feel like I'm at Hogwarts. Yeah, yeah. Well, we've already had a little quick preview and it's spectacular. Hey, hey. Robert, how How's are you? Going, good, good to see to, you. Good to see you. Welcome to Castle Ravani. Thank you so much. Please come on in. Thank you, thank you. We are so honored and privileged to be able to do a tour of this Delighted amazing, to have you. amazing, amazing property. Thank and you. Uh, gosh, I can't even begin to tell you what I think of it. It's, 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 it's mental. It's got my name all over it. So yeah, can you show us around? Sure. So this is the, the great hall, I like to call it. Um, it we, certainly is great. Yeah, it's probably the highest ceiling uh, in LA for a house, 35 feet wow. um, from, from floor to ceiling. Um, I'll start off in the back to start. Uh, we put in two 15 foot uh, mirrors uh, to try to tie in the house because the ceiling heights were so high that it's like, we need to fit something to fit it in. Right. Um, and mirrors. I, I feel like I'm in like, like a Harry Potter movie. Yes, exactly. Harry Potter actually is my favorite movie of all time. And my wedding was based upon Harry Potter. Really? Yes, the whole entire theme was based upon a Harry Potter theme. Um, and my second favorite movie actually or show is Game of Thrones, which inspired the throne set up here. That's <laughs> just nuts. <laughs> that is absolutely Take insane. Take a seat. Can I? Try it out. All right, let me do it. Just don't it's not going to like eat me or anything. <laughs> How do I look? <laughs> Hold on, selfie time. Selfie time. Where's my camera? Where's my camera? Here I am. And so where did you get this from? So I actually got it. So the inspiration was in the back of my head and we tried, uh, my wife and I tried looking for it in the United States. That wasn't happening. So like, okay, where would be crazy enough to make a Game of Thrones replica chair because it's like 250 individual pieces. And uh, we found someone in Russia that was willing to do it literally in the wilderness. And they, they do it all hand carved wood and all that stuff. And we had it shipped from Russia and put here. Um, it, it seemed like an intelligent move to start. Did you, did you plan it going here? I planned it going right here. I had this vision in my head of like building a throne that you step up to just like you did. Selfie kind of moment. And... I planned it, but my plan didn't go well because the chair ended up being too big. And because it was so big, I was like, okay, the only way to, to fix it is if I make this come out this far, but it'll take up too much of the living room. So we ended up cutting the chair in half from the back, flipped it, and put it up on the ceiling. Oh, my word. <laughs> oh, wow. That's enormous. And that would go, where would that go? That would have gone on the back side here, so it would have been a lot deeper of a chair. So we literally cut it right down the middle and then put Incredible. up there. And then we had my favorite, second favorite animal is dragons. Then we put a dragon at the top to look down at you while you're sitting on your throne. And then of course, it wouldn't be right without the chairs with the skulls. It wouldn't be right if you didn't have the people sitting there watching over you. So the skull chair, it's, it's amazing. It's actually my favorite chair in the house. I wanted to make these the dining room chairs, but I was threatened with a divorce and that didn't work out. <laughs> Expensive. Expensive divorce at that. Expensive. Expensive. Wow. Amazing. So this is the entry. This is the entry. Where do we go from here? Uh, we can go to the bar. This is like our take on a, a British old school 1800s bar. The ceiling. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. I'm lost for words. Appreciate it. So the, the inspiration behind it was, again, the Game of Thrones, old school 
kind of vibe and we put dragon skin on the walls to kind of resemble more of the um game of thrones feel so if you touch it it has some texture to it yeah it does it's yeah so it has that scaling it's like a leather backing. Right. yeah yeah and this then, is just crazy. And then to tie more into the whole theme, uh, as we mentioned earlier, Harry Potter, right? It's a super awesome favorite thing of mine. We built an apothecary. So it has all like the individual things that you'd see, like polyjuice and... Um, gillyweed. Gillyweed from Harry Potter. So it must have taken you forever to source all of this. It, uh, it, was, definitely, it was definitely unique. I saw your eye go to the bone chair. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 need, I need to ask you about this. Yeah, so this, It looks lethal. It, it does look lethal, it will cut you. Um, so this is just a chair that we saw at an antique shop and was like, it's just unbelievable to have. You, you know, saw two of them because there's them. another yeah. one there. Yeah, we had matching on both sides. What's better than one bone chair? Two <laughs> bone <laughs> chairs. Wow, definitely not a kid-friendly house. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this is semi-normal. Bit goth, but semi-normal, right? Yeah. Look at the door. I mean, it's just sick. My new favorite word. Can I? You can. That wasn't good, was you it? You lost. I lost. <laughs> yes. no if you want to see a goth bathroom, I can show you a goth bathroom. Uh, I want to see everything. Okay, I got a goth bathroom for you. So maybe a little dark. <laughs> I know. Oh, wow. Whoa. So if this doesn't motivate you <laughs> to have a really good movement, <laughs> nothing will. There's the pot. That's your view. <laughs> Let me out of here. Spectacular. Wow. I mean, look at the wall. Oh, no, it was in here. The wallpaper, how it's all like kind of swayed. Everything is just... Look, Adam, even, even the decanters are oh. skulls. Wow. Wow. I why, love this why mirror. Was, why was the word? I love everything. Let's continue. Awesome. So this is the uh, formal dining room. And this took probably the most time out of, uh, out of any of the rooms. And it, it, it all kind of came together. So I had bought those... Chinese inspired panels um, from an antique store. When we first moved into the house, we just had them up against the wall. The movers just left them up against the wall. And then an idea hit me of why don't we make the wall the panels? And then we built a frame around it and just framed all these panels. And they're like 200 years old, they're all uh, hand painted. Um, and the whole room kind of came off of that and trying to find a 15 foot table and multiple chandeliers and these overgrown chairs that you can't even move because they weigh so much and aren't really practical. So <laughs> it, it all came out pretty, pretty nice in my... Well, your, your vision, your imagination and turning it into what we see here is, I mean, it's applaud worthy. It really is fantastic. I, I appreciate you it. You see the ceiling with the, I know. the, the crowns and what so do you call those details. things on there? The crest? Is that yeah, a crest? Yeah, it could be like a crest, crest yeah. So, I mean, the inspiration kind of behind it all was, with all due respect to all the people that build the modern homes, I'm just sick of it. Anyone can do glass and drywall and make it open. We want something different. Something this unique. is different. So This is fun. It's not this everybody's fun. taste, but it's fun. So here's the thing. When you walk in this house, you can't help but smile, right? You just can't help but smile. It's, it's a happy house. It makes right. you feel good, right? Thank you. I appreciate it. So the next room is what I like to call my Amazon jungle room. And when you first walk in, obviously the chandelier is the first thing that pops out at you. And it's 250 individual glass pieces. And uh, it's just insane. It's, it's probably my favorite room. We got that chandelier from Dubai. Um, and when we first saw the chandelier, we're like, okay, it looks like butterflies. And we had all white walls. And we're like, how do we tie it in together, right? And the idea came was imagine butterflies are in a garden. And we designed all the walls as a garden where the butterflies are flying overhead. And this is just, how did they even do this? Um, they set a backing for all the walls and they had to drill the backing into the wall and they would individually put all the floral pieces in. This, wow. is, this is the room that saved my marriage. I had to kind of make up for all the goth pieces. <laughs> <laughs> happy wife, happy life. That's where this came about. It's wonderful. I mean, it's wonderful. Thank you. And you it, know, what? the quality of light here is so beautiful. It's like so soft and it, on the camera, it looks amazing. And each one of these is individual, right? Individual. It took 
three days just to install the chandelier. I believe it. Yeah, it was uh, it was very fun. And we got shipped over from Dubai. We had some problems because some of the pieces broke on the way here, and it just never buy furniture from across the, the way. And it's a, a, it's, it's a very problem, difficult. right? Especially glass furniture. Especially <laughs> glass furniture. Even if you get it air shipped, it still won't solve the problem. Yeah. yeah so Everything was, always gets damaged. Yeah, especially at a house like this, you can't just go to your typical furniture store because nothing fits. And then if you want to go goth style, good luck in Los Angeles trying to find gothic a Good luck in America. Good luck in America. Right. It doesn't exist. So this is crazy. I mean... Fabulous. Is that my crown I see up there? That is your <laughs> crown. You have to wear it when you go on the throne. So when we first bought the house, this was all grass. There was a pool, but it was grass all around it. And there was not a lot of living space um, and, and partying space, let's call it. So I had put in this flooring um, for like the dance floor party area, the fake florals um, all around just to, to give it an Alice in Wonderland kind of theme to make it brighter. Um, and then we got individual crests uh, from Turkey actually all individual tiles set in to match the, the throne and and the whole king and queen vibe going for the well, property. Well so you even sourced these I thought this was perhaps something that you just had done this is from Turkey. Yeah these are from Turkey yeah we sourced these as well. Wow. Does that come as one piece or they actually put it together? Uh, it was in one piece but there were certain pieces you had to put in into it. Castle Rivani and it truly is a castle I mean this is oh, yeah. look, look at that shot there Adam. I know. It really is quite, quite spectacular. This is just wonderful. My favorite, AstroTurf. <laughs> I can walk on there. This pool is beautiful. It must be so nice at night to sit in the tub just looking back at the house. It is gorgeous. I wish you guys were here at night because there's like red lights that go up on the house oh, really? and everything. So it's a very like sexy kind That's of awesome. look to it. So yeah, absolutely. Wow, what and, a view. And the view is the money shot here. I mean. This is like one of the only homes that gets a complete, you know, view of the canyon and the park and the sunset set right there and it's a gorgeous view at night. Totally, totally private. And the chess set, we can't ignore the chess set. This is our thumbnail, Michael, right here. Right here. You must be so proud when you look at this and you look at what you've done. That must be such a sense of accomplishment. Yeah, I mean, being only 31 years old and being able to create all this by 31 was definitely a, a big achievement of mine. And it was, a, it was pretty awesome. But I try to stay as humble as possible and just, I didn't want to show off the house in that sense, but just say, look, if I ever bought a house growing up that I would want a house that resembled me. Don't, don't be apologetic yeah. for your hard work yeah. that's paid off, you know? I mean, this is Appreciate. amazing and I applaud you. Thank you. And, and I'm sure the audience applauds you for you. achieving this. It's Appreciate really, it. really wonderful. And it's inspirational because it shows at the age of 31, you can do this. Yeah, definitely possible. Now, do you play chess? Because I don't. I do play chess oh, badly, do. badly. <laughs> I mean, this is a pawn. Yep. This is a rook. So no, the, I do play, I play chess. <laughs> the only thing that I can see here though is that the squares are the wrong way. Yes. <laughs> well, there's another issue. Problem. There's another issue. These would wobble a little bit. <laughs> no, it's, it's amazing. Yes. And then you have a sports yeah, court here. I'm not here. much of a chess player, but basketball <laughs> <laughs> is something I definitely have taken up. So I'm the world's worst basketball player, but I have to do this. Just Hold do on. It. Let me let me stand really still. And then what I'll do is I'll cut. You can stay there, take as many shots as you want. And no, I want to do this in what it'll watch look like this. The first I'm going one. to impress you. You ready? Okay. You ready? Boom. That wasn't impressive. <laughs> that was the practice one. Cut that one. <laughs> okay, show us how it's done. No, I can't. I have way too many rings. I'll be way worse than you. <laughs> one you shot at it? No, you do it. If I miss this, all my friends are going to butcher me for the rest of my life. Oh, see, I can't with the rings. You should just wear rings and then you can use that. <laughs> yeah, you can use it as an excuse. Yeah. Well, when you watch, it's heavy oh, on one right. side, that's it makes it get to the left, you know. And then I have a garden if you want to come take a look at the garden. I don't know much about it, so don't ask me questions. But So I this would be the garden to us because we're British? Yeah. When you say garden, you mean like vegetables? Yes, and these... vegetable garden. What do we call that? Uh, like a vegetable patch or like um... I don't, mate, I've been in America too long. I know. Seriously, I've forgotten English words. I for have things. too. That's why I asked you. What but, you yeah, I mean, like a, like a, a vegetable, vegetable garden. Like a veggie garden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't need to go in. We see stuff. I don't know what they are. I'm sure you I don't either, right? I have no idea what it is. It's very nice, though. What's in there? Where? There. This right here? It looks like, a, oh, like a Punch and Judy, you know. Just for towels. You okay, try to make it yeah. as resort as possible and just 
put towels in there because we're too lazy to walk inside the house. <laughs> oh, you got to catch this. This is my Harry Potter. Did you see oh, this, yeah. Adam? Yeah. That's awesome. That really is awesome. And big. This is really lovely. Doesn't have any gargoyles in here. No. This Not allowed, right? My, my wife claimed this territory. I don't blame her. <laughs> I just go to eat some, here and I leave. It's going to have it. some areas, right? Yes. There's certain areas that are blocked off, so. Wow. Cool, cool. So now we are going where? We could take you guys upstairs. Let's go upstairs. Okay. I could show you a little bit of the poker room. It's still under construction, let's call it. But uh, my wife bought this for my birthday present. It's a poker table with the nice. Ravani oh, castle wow. on it. That's beautiful. And this is... Um, a piece from Indonesia, which I still have not figured out what to do with. What is it exactly? It's a double-headed dragon uh, from Bali. And we're thinking about putting florals in it, uh, but it weighs 400 pounds, no one can lift it. And now it's just stuck here for now. <laughs> It looks good there. Yeah. It would look really nice with On a like platform. A, mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's like a big centerpiece somewhere. Yeah. I love the symmetry. Yeah, it's uh Yeah, he's big into symmetry, he's OCD. <laughs> that's so am I. That things have to be that's the, one of the biggest things my wife and I go back. I need everything perfect. Yeah. Like I mean you could even put it like right here in the window and then I'm the, just afraid the sun's gonna deteriorate. That's it. true. Yeah. That's true. You get some UV film for the window maybe? Yeah, I that's a good idea. So this is actually one of my favorite views in the house because you get a little bit of you know, the portrait of us that my wife had done. You get to see the other half of the Game of Thrones chair. You oh, get check to look that out. The out. I didn't even notice that. That's amazing. Yeah. And then you have like the Romeo and Juliet balconies that when we have events, you know, there's dancers that go on those balconies at night. And, and when you're up here, you really see how big the back of that chair is. Yeah. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. So I will take you to uh, the gym. So we moved in right before uh, COVID and COVID happened and we're like, well, we can't go to gyms anymore. So we ended up deciding just to put a gym inside our house and taking out one of the bedrooms because there's only two of us living here. This looks like hard work. Yeah, I don't go on that one. I mean, that really looks like hard work. I mean, even looking at it makes me feel like I'm worn out. At least you have a view. That's the yeah, one you have a view. going for it. You have a beautiful view. Yeah. So you, you know, do that and you die to the beautiful view. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. This is going to be our future little girl's room. God willing, we have a little girl. Oh, uh, it's gorgeous. So you can obviously see my wife designed this room. It was not me. But I see a touch of goth. Just a touch. <laughs> just <laughs> to keep you happy, just right? Just a touch. And the bathroom is honestly one of my favorite bathrooms just because of the custom tile work that goes into it. I went into it. It's just, it's really, I think, a princess's dream. It's pink and green. Wow. And Look at the knobs on the shower. I as well. love it. And the throne is literally a throne. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Yeah. Beautifully done. So what are you going to do if you have a little boy? Uh-oh. Uh Keep <laughs> trying here, right? blue stuff. So this is uh, a security door, just in case uh, things get crazy in the neighborhood, which <laughs> I don't ever expect in a gated community. But it's, uh, it's a vault. It's a vault door. So you can get an AK-47, shoot into it, and it's 12 inches of steel, and it's not going through. Wow. I mean, that's fun yeah look at this adam here I know. this is the real deal i thought my front door was secure right look at that bolted into the wall wow 
That is something And else. if things are going crazy, but you still do need Postmates, then you've got a little food. Yeah, you can. Yeah. So this is the master. And what a master it is. You got your own way in here. Yeah, I definitely did. It, uh, it was a little bit of a battle, but we, we kind of switched on some things. She got to take the bed and I had inspiration for the bed, but I got my piece that was really important to me, my antique piece. Um, it's actually 250 years old. It was out of a castle in uh, Austria. Really? Yeah. And um, So how did you find all of this stuff? I mean, there's no shops that have pieces like this. Lots of boredom on online forums, whether it was like First Dibs or Etsy or these different... Really? Antique. Yeah, it, it's tough to find because there's so many fakes. You have to make sure you get real ones and you don't get scammed. Right. And getting it shipped and then having people during COVID when you're scared of having them move it in. It was a, it was a process. I'm sure. We'd I'm walk sure. around with like, air, with like sprays whenever yep. people would leave and it was, it was fun. It was definitely an experience. This and is really spectacular. And this is your TV area? Uh, this is the TV area, yeah. And then we got the, the custom drapes made actually in Texas, uh, believe it or not, because we just couldn't find any type of, you know, gothic medieval drapery. And then we put the, the lion uh, on every single one of them. This is truly gorgeous. So do you have your own crest? Have you had a family crest made? We're still kind of arguing that. Oh, really? She wants a unicorn. I want a dragon. It's still... <laughs> Can you have both? Yeah, but then where does the lion play in? Oh, okay. That's yeah, it's point. the three that we're trying to figure yeah. out. So <laughs> if you guys want to see the view from outside here, it's definitely different. So I have all my dragons watching over the backyard. These are protecting you. Wow. These are my protectors. Beautiful. Hello. <laughs> this is beautiful. Every piece is so special. So this piece is honestly one of my favorites. It has a dragon with a crown on top of it and it's about 200, 300 years old as well. And it's just a immaculate piece. You just can't find these nowadays anymore. This hang carved wood and all that good stuff. So how old is this piece? 200 plus years old. Wow. Yeah, they don't make anything like this anymore, do they? No, and like this piece as well is over 100 years old. And it has like all the original glass from way back when. So wow. it's incredible. I mean, not to throw other houses under the bus, but uh, we've been to a couple that are tried to be themed like this. And I mean, they failed <laughs> it's not, yeah. it's not radically. A comparison, is it? yeah, it's no. tough because a lot of like the things you find online, the replicas are just made in China and they look fake. They look cheesy to like to really. And when pull you off. touch them, yeah. uh, you touch this and you know, it's, it's the real deal. Right. But um, you've done this so well. And I, can I have a peek in here? Please. Ta da! Gorgeous. Wow. Hers. Yeah. Wow. Yes. And you get that little area there? Pretty much. I get that area <laughs> right in there, but yeah. Oh that's, my that's word. The... <laughs> that's just not right. Yeah. <laughs> so here, just the custom. You know, work that was done, the ceiling, the bath. Look I love that. the overflow bath. That's oh, wonderful. Yeah. The fireplace as well. Yeah, and the yeah. fireplace. Oh, man. Yeah. This bathtub's beautiful too. Even the ceiling. So with an overflow tub, does it recycle the water? Yes. Or, okay, yeah. got it. Yeah, it recycled the water. In the beginning, my wife's a dietitian, actually. And she's like, Robert, we have to get this machine that you put in the front of your house that it filters all the water from you know, the main line to the house. So you can drink pretty much anything yeah. in the we, house. We have that. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. Your skin's so much softer. It looks like a shower. filtration planet. Yeah, it's, it's a crazy awesome. thing, but it, it's, it's crazy the difference it makes. And then you have the, yeah, that the means, Romeo and Juliet balcony. Yeah, go on balcony. If you're not scared of heights. I, I am petrified of heights. I, I never but do, but. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to do it. Is it? <laughs> That's so wrong of you. <laughs> I can take you to my, side not as grand as hers but i'll show you her closet first if she doesn't kill me but oh well oh how lovely wow beautiful yep definitely a closet fit for a queen yep or a princess and of course it has the goth touch mm -hmm. beautifully done but i like the distress with the kind of silver in I there kind of the makes it more part. like yeah. feminine beautiful Healthy. thank you Oh, you got the short end of the stick. Huh? I got the short end of the stick. The one thing this I, is very This nice. is pretty cool. I'm yeah. not going to lie. Yeah. I, I quite like that. That's the throne. <laughs> I, honestly, my favorite thing is this, this feature and design here, but yeah. also the size of the shower. The size of the shower is just... It's Fabulous. a steam shower too. So, oh, nice. so you can go in there, sit there, steam. Relax, you have a view out to the canyon. Yeah, that's cool. I love the yeah. window in that. No, it's lovely. And this is my closet really nice 
So I have all my spiky shoes and all my fun stuff. I have the same spiky shoes. I love spiky <laughs> shoes. <laughs> Nearly wore spiky shoes today. We could switch. We'll yeah. <laughs>thank you enough for this robert this truly is magnificent i've never seen anything like it and i'm so thrilled that i got to see it and i'm sure the audience will love it make sure you follow robert on instagram he's just started a new account robert underscore rivani is that right that is correct excellent and we'll have that in the description as well so i hope you enjoyed this thank you again thank you very much for the time really really appreciate it thank you hit the subscribe button hit the bell you know what to do we're in it to win it this guy won it (laughs) <laughs> Bye.